Now, scholars, politicians, and friends gathered today in Kisumu to pay tribute to the fallen political activist, Professor Rok Adjulu, who died on the 26th of December last year in South Africa after a battle with cancer. The late Adjulu was married to South Africa's Minister of Human Settlements, Lindiwe Sisulu. Oko Okusa reports. <laughs> During the requiem mass held at Aga Khan Hall, dignitaries from Kenya, South Africa, Ghana, and other African nations described the late Ajulu as a Pan-Africanist who spent the better part of his life fighting for the downtrodden. And I recall when I visited him in Pretoria in the hospital, he introduced me as a coup maker from Ghana. He would wonder at how much we struggled to create the conditions for the then generalists to come to power, only for us to end up in exile. I do feel very, very proud that I can associate myself in this ceremony to celebrate a life of a great Kenyan, a great Pan-Africanist, a great internationalist, a brother. And as I see this giant lying here, I am reminded for the wise saying that the journey to greatness often starts on a very slippery ground. The 66-year-old Professor Ajulu was also remembered for leading a movement of African students against apartheid while studying at the National University of Lesotho. Ajulu was patriotic. He could pay the ultimate sacrifice for his friends. His wife, Lindiwe Sisulu, is the daughter of renowned anti-apartheid activist Walter Sisulu, who served more than 25 years in imprisonment at Robben Island. Ajulu will be laid to rest tomorrow at his home in Bondo, Siaya County. Okokusa, NTV.